Galloper Durbridge underlined his class by leading all the way to win the $300,000 Doombin Cup this afternoon. We pick up the race as Durbridge starts to hang in on Paris Lane. Durbridge the leader, 300 to go, the old stager in front, the precocious three-year-old Paris Lane looming up and they collided inside the 200, Durbridge and Paris Lane there together, Marrakiz on the inside, Durbridge and Paris Lane, Durbridge is coming away from Paris Lane, Durbridge in front, he's too good and Durbridge beat Paris Lane. A terrific performance by Durbridge who was forced to the front early in the race and got the money despite a protest by Greg Hall on Paris Lane. Leaders out in the Doombin Cup and the leader Durbridge a neck in front. Paris Lane throwing down the gauntlet on the outside. Durbridge is shifting his ground. He's rolling out. He's joined now by Paris Lane. Durbridge and Paris Lane. They lock together. They just brush there. Marrakiz is up to third then Puelas. Durbridge is kicking on. He's just in front of Paris Lane. Durbridge a neck in front. He's starting to edge away from Paris Lane again in the run to the line and Durbridge is won the cup, Durbridge first, Paris Lane second, pure lust in a photo for third. And the stable Quinella there, Durbridge beating Paris Lane, the stewards sorting out that Durbridge should retain the race and he got out to 11 to 4, a great price, returning 230 and 150 on the tote, he was one of four winners at the meeting for the Friedman brothers. And Friedman's luck held out at Caulfield, where comeback galloper King Marauding returned from the stud to the winners list after a 14 month break from the races. Punter scored well with four favourites home and two plungers successful. The first today, the hurdle won by our running stars, won two of his three over the jumps. Dry ground see, seems to be the key to his chances. Poetique turned the tables on Rust Essence after being back from nine to four into six to four favourite in race two. The third and the New Zealand visitor Turnadog tens out to sixteen to one, got the money. It's even better on wet ground. First leg of the quaddy, Viminari a favourite. Santa School and Mookie turn in front, sweet control. Viminari is trying to get out of a pocket. She's barging through now, got the opening. Lady in reality hit the rail, hit the front on the inside rail, but Viminari coming after her. It's Viminari racing to Lady in reality, and Romantic Jester's flashing home. Viminari hit the front though, and Viminari wins it. Viminari first, Romantic Jest got up for second. A tough effort from Viminaria and a courageous ride by apprentice Sally Wynn who turned possible defeat into victory, taking a gap at the two. And a half now, here's Top Walk finishing quickly, another luster getting up on the fence, King Marauding still in front though, Petrify out wide, Top Walk, but King Marauding will win it. King Marauding has won it from Native Zam who flashed up second. King Marauding, a dual group one winner two years ago, found his form again leading all the way. Now it's known that he wants to race, the stable has an interesting dilemma. Do we make him a, a spring? horse again he's probably showing enough ability to warrant doing that so uh, you know that's a, something we'll have to go home and have a long think about Chuck reaches the lead from tomorrow's sphere and Teos gets the run late pounces on them now and tomorrow draws away to win it uh, Teos goes on to win Teos racing away Teos with the blinkers back on would have been Glacier Peak in front Bronze Knight the 10 year old and Lord Monet is squeezing out now Lord Monet pounces on the leader uh, coming at it hard as Spring Hill lad along the inside it's Lord Monet in front of Spring Hill lad and Mr Untouchable and then Man Rebo but Lord Monet will win it Lord Monet Lord Monet gave jockey Danny Brereton his first double since returning from a six year stint in Hong Kong some nine months ago a heavyweight jockey Brereton's opportunities are limited it's getting that time of the year now it's going to be harder for me to get rides because of the cold weather my weight tends to creep up so I'll probably go for a holiday soon anyway, so, you know. Well, stewards yeah. always seem to have the race in control, scoring from High Pixie and Delgara. Now the multiples today, and the Daily Double, one King Marauding and five Lord Monet, returning $17.90. The extra, six Poetique and one Viminaria, $12.40. They were both favourites. The Quaddy, one, one, four and five, paid $850.50. Taos in the... Uh, third leg, probably the tough one to get there, and a good divvy in the quad extra for one, four, five, and five, returning twelve hundred and forty-six dollars seventy, and a big one in the straight six today, eighty-four.